Welcome to the tutorial. This time around, we're going to talk about our melody strings, also known as the chanterelles. These are the ones that sit on top of the wheel and run through the key chest. When we ship the instrument out, we turn all the strings off. So when you crank the handle, it's likely you're not getting any sound at all. First, let's talk about how to turn these melody strings on or off. As you see, we have this little knob protruding, which has the word off engraved on it. If we rotate it around so that the word on is faced up, now both these strings are on the wheel. Now it's out of tune. We'll cover that in a moment, but for now, just get comfortable with the idea of how to turn them on or off. Again, rotating it so the word off faces up. The strings are off the wheel. They're turned off. On. Both strings are on. We can also turn them on or off independently of each other. There's sideways positions of this knob as well. The one with the star is the higher pitched melody string, which is this one. If we rotate it the other way, the lower pitched melody string is the only one on the wheel. By the way, if you want a sneak peek at how this mechanism works, just flip open the key chest lid and you can see the paddles here that rotate around whenever we turn the knob. Let's work on getting them tuned up. So I'm going to set it up so my high pitch melody string, this one, is the one that's on. That's with the star up. You'll notice that this string has cotton on it and this one doesn't. The cotton on this string has slid out of the way. It should be touching the wheel just as this string is. However, when it gets shipped around the country or the world, anything can shift around, so we're going to fix that first. We're going to lift the string up and slide the cotton in position. It's that simple. Immediately, the tone is a lot better. Now, if you're in the GC tuning, which is what this video caters to, these melody strings will both be tuned to G notes. I have my tuner set up and we're going to use that to dial it in. You see here I'm getting an E that's a little flat, so I'm going to raise that until it's G. I have my tuners at the other end of the instrument here. I'm going to turn to adjust it. The way this tuner works, I want the needle right in the middle and the green light on top with no red lights around it. See how I have a red light there? So I want to sharpen it up a little bit. Now I have a G with a number sign after it. That's G sharp. That's too far, so I'm going to back it down to G. Okay, that one's done. I'm going to rotate my switch around. Now I've just got this string, the lower pitch one on. This will also be G, but it's an octave lower. So this G note will sound a little lower. Now, these are new strings, so they're still stretching out, so it's quite likely that after you tune it, it will be out of tune immediately or thereafter, as the strings are stretching out and it will go flat rather rapidly. So I'll have to tune them several times in a row before it starts to hold. So again, I'll switch it so just my high-pitched melody string is the one touching the wheel, and I'll adjust that again. And we see from the tuner here that it is a little flat already. Repeat the process with the other one. We'll go through this another time just to be safe. Oh, that's actually holding. And the lower pitched one. And we'll turn them on together.
you will quite likely have to tune these a little more often during the first week, but they should settle down pretty quickly and be pretty reliably in tune thereafter. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Happy playing!